वेलकम बैक टू अप्लाइड फोरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस माय नेम इज निशांत होली वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फोरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट हियर द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एक्सचेंज लेट सी द कंटेंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन डायग्राम हिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल फोरेंसिक एक्सप्लेनेशन की स्टडी कॉन्क्लूजन एंड रेफरेंसेज इन इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव टू सी दैट Uh, the principle of exchange is given by Sir Edmond Locard. It states that when any two things come in contact, they will leave traces. Hence, the principle is generally summed up by stating this sentence. It states, whenever someone enters or exits an environment, something physical is added and removed from the scene. There is a diagram. We have to see images related to principle of exchange. by their sentence and the fingerprints or uh, handprints the history of principle of exchange in 1910 he means sir edmond locard established the world first forensic science lab in lyon at france in lyon he founded and directed the institute of criminalistics located at the university of lyon and he remained a uh, domain presence in forensic science in 1940s he gave the term principle of exchange that states that when two things come in contact which leave traces he is also called as the father of modern forensic science as well as he also known as the father of poroscopy as well as father of angioscopy in principle the locards exchange principle is an important part of forensic science investigation it states that a criminal leaves behind a trace while committing a violent crime the type of contact occurred and the material transfer depend on the circumstances of the crime they will uh, hence the principle of exchange can help us to solve the crime basic explanation for the principle of exchange it holds that the perpetrator of a crime will bring something into the crime scene and leave with something from it and that both can be used as forensic evidence the significance of fiber fiber evidences and other physical evidences is based upon locard's exchange principle it provides us a vital link between the suspect scene of crime and victim as well as it helps to solve the crime the principle of exchange which is very important part when any two things are come contact are obtained from that scene uh, from that uh, thing or evidence they is very helpful to us to determine or to solve the crime in the case study related to the principle of exchange first of all if a person is murdered where by a knife is the weapon the injuries borne by the victim were reflect stresses of sharp weapon on the other hand the weapon actually used will have blood on it this example shows the exchange or transfer of evidences hence when two entities come in contact there is a mutual exchange between them then we have to see the conclusion first of all locard's principle is significant and is very relevant in criminal law as most of the crime scene investigations works according to the principle second one is it does not lose its importance in criminal law and duty of the investigator to find out the trace left by the contact with its size not being relevant then third one is biological evidences like dna or fingerprints have more chances to leave its trace and the investigator has to find trace to have relevancy in criminal law scenario in last we have to see the references which are shown in that slide so thank you thank you so much if you like the video then please like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much